guys, my name is Jasmine, and welcome to my channel, Totally Jazzy. I love anything from entertaining to parties, crafts, and many more. That's why I made this channel, but specifically to me, Totally Jazzy. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video about 25 things to do at home, because I know that all of us are in quarantine and we need some things to do. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so our first idea is Disney Day. Since we cannot go to Disneyland, we can bring Disney to us. All you're gonna need is some Disney gear, which I have my Mickey Mouse ears and my Mickey Mouse sweatshirts. You can do fabulous Disney treats, you could do Disney trivia, or you can just gather on the family and watch Disney Plus. And did I mention, you can even make Mickey Mouse pancakes. All right, and so for activity two, you can bake some goods or you can have ice cream social. Keeping with the Disney magic, you can bake Baby Yoda cookies, or for ice cream social, you could totally do Wayne the Pooh honey milkshake. And for the parents, I didn't forget about you, you can do Baby Yoda cocktail. I will list all these recipes down below in the description. All right, so for idea number three, you can do one of my favorites, which is a theme day or play dress up. How fun would it be to put on your old Halloween costumes, any holiday hats, you guys can act out a skit, you can act out a movie, you guys can do um, pirates and princesses and mermaids and or live in the decades where you could do 20s, 30s, 40s or 50s. How fun would it be for the whole family to just dress up and have a theme day? Another fun idea is to have a dance party and why not do it during your theme day and you could be in your costumes and have fun and just get jiggy with it. All right, okay. Sprinkler, sprinkler, fax machine, fax machine. All right, don't be stealing my moves now. <laughs> <laughs> Brings me to my next idea is why not put on a family talent show whether you have a hidden talent whether it could just be putting on lipstick with your toes eating a certain amount of donuts in a few minutes impersonating a family member hula dancing singing whatever how fun would it be to just laugh and have a good time with your family because we know laughter is good for the soul. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to our quarantine family talent show hosted by yours truly, Stacy. Let's give it a round of applause. Woo! Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, and I'm from Vermont. I'm gonna be going first. I um, would like to thank everyone for being here, coming to our quarantine family talent show. Well, I guess we kind of have to be here because we're all in quarantine, right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, no? Okay. Tough crap. Anyways, this is my first time doing something like this. So I'm gonna be doing comedy. Big surprise. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So what do you call a can opener that doesn't open? A can opener. <laughs> no, no one. That was a good one. Darn it, tough crowd, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, ma'am, calm down, all right? All right, okay, I have another one, I have another one. It's even better than this one, I promise, I promise. Okay, so there's a blonde driving her car and she's driving all over around the, the road. The police officer stops her. He goes, ma'am, why are you driving like that? And she's like, there's a tree in my way. He goes, no, ma'am, that's your air freshener. <laughs> That's it for our family talent show. Thank you all for coming. I'm here with Dwayne Johnson, our celebrity guest. Say hello, Dwayne. Hello. Thank you so much for being our celebrity judge. He's gonna go ahead and announce the winner. And the winner is? Oh, let me help you. Let me help you there, Rock. Let me help you there. Stacy. Oh my God, I won. Oh my God, I, I won. Thank you, Rock. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh. Get it, the welcome, the wana. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much all for coming. Thank you for choosing me. Oh, I get a crown. Thank you, thank you. I get flowers. Oh, I get prizes. Oh, I got life saw. Oh, some more disinfectant. Some sanitizer. Oh, so sorry, Rob. So sorry. Oh, snap, I get toilet paper. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, so another idea is one of my favorites, game night. So you can get your family together, you guys can play all your favorite games, 
or you can even do a puzzle. Puzzles are so much fun. One of my favorite games is Clue. If you're really missing out on you playing with your friends, go ahead and go on Skype, Facebook Messenger, or Zoom, and Skype your friends in, and you guys can play some online games. All right, so some more ideas you can do is Music Day. If you guys have some instruments at home, you can come out and have a jam session. If you don't have instruments, get the pots and pans out. Get two paper cups with some beans and tape them together and make your own maraca. There's so much ideas you can do at home. Have a sing along and just jam out with each other. So another fun idea you could do is story time. You guys can get your favorite books out. You guys can sit in the room and just have some quiet time, read your favorite book. Or if you want, you can start your own book club with your friends via Skype and have weekly meetings about the book that you are reading. All right, so this next idea is for your inner kid, or you can just do this with your kids. Camp out in the living room or camp outside in your backyard. You can build a fort. Forts are so much fun. All you need is some blankets, some chairs, and there's just so many creative ways to make it. You can roast marshmallows over the stove on some skewers. You can even make your s'mores in the microwave if you want to do it inside. You can sing Kumbaya and have so much fun with your family and go ahead and have your own camping trip, but indoors. So arts and crafts is another fun thing you can do. This would be a perfect opportunity to take out construction paper, pencils. You can paint, finger paint, draw, make origami, um, just express yourself through art and show what you're feeling. Make lanterns, you can do butterflies. Um, you can even do something so fun is to make homemade cards for your neighbors, letting them know like, hey, we're in this together, stay positive. All this shall pass. I'm thinking about you. If you need anything, hit me up, give me a text. Another thing that you can do on Arts Day, you could do your very own paint and sip with your friends via Skype, Zoom, Facebook Messenger, whatever you wanna use. And you guys can have snacks and have a good time. Who doesn't like TikTok? Why not do a TikTok challenge or make your own video and challenge your family and friends online to do a challenge against you and you guys can vote or have other people vote uh, who has the best uh, video. So you ever wonder why things do what they do? Like why is the sky blue? Why do volcanoes erupt? How big is the ocean? What is one of the largest animals in the world? Why not go and research these things? Or just do some science experiments at home. Kids will love this. You can do your very own volcano at home or how to make a lava lamp. I'll go ahead and link all this stuff in the description below. If you have kids, you can always watch Sid the Science Kid and you can do some of the experiments on there to get some ideas. So going along with the science experiment, why not learn a new skill you have here on YouTube or you have Skillshare, which is another online learning program that you can have, I believe it is a month free trial to try out. If you wanna learn a new language, uh, makeup techniques, crocheting, dancing, just about anything that you wanna learn, take this time to really expand your knowledge and just have a good time learning something new. So did you know that there is 12 famous museums that are allowing you right now to take virtual tours? I'll go ahead and link down in the description to the article that will allow you to do that. Make sure to log on to your computer because it is desktop friendly. So one other idea you could do is why not take this time and cook a new meal? Try something new, maybe like even do, have you tried rainbow spaghetti? I know I did and it was super fun. If you would like to see the recipe and how to do it, I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description. All right, so another idea is you can do a family photo shoot. Gather the family around, do um, quirky pictures, pictures of you guys doing family challenges in your pajamas. And you can even take things from your house, use them as props or a background. Just have so much fun so when you look back in the future at these pictures, you guys can laugh and smile at all the things that you got to do during this time. One other option for an activity is if you just wanna stay home and relax, have a spa day. This would be the perfect time to get all your facial masks out, you can do your nails, you can take a nap, you can exercise, you can do yoga, you can even meditate. Just take this time to relax, decompress for everything that's going on, and just have a you day, like a self-care day. One other idea you can do along with your spa day is just go ahead and take a walk, get some fresh air and exercise and take the family with you. One other fun thing you can do is a lip sync battle. There is tons of apps out there that will allow you to do duets with other people online if you like to do that or you can go ahead and do a lip sync battle to one of your favorite songs at home and just battle and challenge your family and um, come up with a fun prize that you can win for whoever did the best. All right, another idea was you got some bubbles, 
blow bubbles. These are always fun for all ages, even for kids and adults. You can go outside or even do them in the house. Woo, that was a big one. <laughs> I love bubbles. Yes. <laughs> idea would be totally fun for kids is balloon hockey or balloon ping pong all you have to do is if you have some balloons left over the house take a paper plate popsicle stick glue them together and just get you a balloon ping pong going on or for balloon hockey all you have to do is get a box and maybe a broom and then you guys can just battle each other like hockey with the balloons All right, guys, so another activity you can do is scavenger hunt games, which you can simply just hide things around your house and write out clues on a piece of paper and have your family members go ahead and try to find them. Or, however, I have another idea that you can do, which is called what's in this box. For this game, you will need a box to put items in, as well as a cell phone to time you while you are trying to figure out what the, what's in the box, and an eye mask to cover your eyes. The goal of the game is to guess the items in the box while blindfolded for a certain amount of minutes. <laughs> um, This is for watering the plants. I don't know the name for it, but you can water the plants with it. Yes, set it down. All right. Um... Is this an air freshener? No. A plant thingy? Nope. Oh, label. Um, perfume. Yes. Okay. Uh, dental floss. So pretty much from what I can see, I got everything right except the bag of rubber bands. Darn. All right. Count how many you got? So I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine out of 10 right. And that's how you play the game. Cool idea I found was on Instagram, which was called Social Distancing Spirit Week, where every day of the week you dress up as something differently. This week was created by at Taylor Made for Mary Kay, where I did a Disney theme every day, which was, you can see, which is World of Color Wednesday. Also, Dreams Come True Thursday and Phantasmic Friday. All you have to do is go hashtag Disney Parked at Home or Disney Social Distancing Spirit Week. And I get cool ideas. So our final activity, number 25, is a movie night. Why not have a good old fashioned fun, pick out your favorite movie, get your favorite snacks, and just lounge on the couch? Or you can even have a Netflix party where you guys decide on what movie you're going to do and you guys can Skype in and watch the movie together and give commentary. Even make it even fun and make themed treats. Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the 25 things to do at home. I hope you have fun doing them. I would love to see pictures if you wanna post them in the comments or just say down below, which idea did you like the most? And make sure to give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe and ring that notification bell so next time I post. You guys remember to stay home, stay safe. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.